Okay, so we, I don't know if you've heard, but there's been a bit of a shakeup over at Disney. What happened? No. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you heard about this. Is Bob uh, Chapek okay? Uh, uh, no, oh. no. Uh, I heard he got demoted. Oh, no. Yes, he's now uh, the cat keeper of Disney. You know how at Disneyland every night they yeah. let out a thousand cats to go <laughs> and hunt down mice? That's why he's now officially, Bob Chapek is now the cat keeper. Bob Iger's in charge of Disney now. I don't know if you've heard that. But what is interesting is there are major trades, right? Major trades have been writing. Granted, this is speculation, but this is not speculation coming from, you know, hack sites like the John Campia YouTube show or whatever. This is coming from the major trades that the speculation right now is that Bob Iger came back to get the house in order and to sell Disney to Apple. That's what these are. That's something that the rap right now is writing. Let me read this for you here. Um, now that Disney CEO Bob Iger has regained the keys to the Magic Kingdom less than three years after his chosen successor Bob Chapek took over, insiders suspect that they know how the beloved executive will find a new way to go out on top during his final two-year stint. He's going to sell the company, one insider reported to us, who has worked under Iger and predicted this is the pinnacle deal for the ultimate deal maker. <laughs> so now look, you're talking about Bob Iger. Bob Iger is the deal maker. The deal maker. He's the guy who acquired Star Wars. He's the guy who acquired Marvel. He's the guy who acquired Pixar. He's the guy who acquired Fox. He's the guy who launched Disney Plus. <laughs> Can you imagine what his commission would be with that sale? I don't know if as CEO you work on commission, but <laughs> Man, I don't know. But he's a he major like a Apple fee. shareholder too. <laughs> there's some finders. Yeah, there's some finders fee. Now listen, let me tell you why here. You should be dubious of this all right the the main reason you should be dubious is that it's not bob Iger doesn't get to decide if apple gets sold or if uh if uh disney gets sold or not that is the decision of the board which bob Iger is no longer on bob Iger during his main reign at disney he was both ceo and chairman of the board which meant his power was unquestioned and untouched now, there is a new chairman of the board that worked under him, as a matter of fact, for many years, and he is CEO. So Bob Iger doesn't get to decide whether or not Disney gets sold or not, okay? Let's be very clear about that. That being said, that doesn't remove the possibilities that maybe one of the reasons the board brought, and again, this is where we're getting into the area where the rap and uh, uh, Variety are getting into speculation here, okay? Okay. One of the reasons the board may have chosen to bring Bob Iger back is because maybe the board is keen on selling Disney. And who better to broker the deal than the greatest deal maker in the business, in Bob Iger? Now, one of the other things that makes this plausible, I'm not saying believable, I'm saying plausible, is this. You may be thinking to yourself, John, uh, Disney is expensive. That I mean, who's it? Because Chris, you looked up the the value. What's the valuation of the, of Disney right now as a company? They are worth how much? One seventy eight point six billion. B -b 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 billion. One hundred and seventy eight <laughs> billion dollars. Yeah. <laughs> who the hell has one hundred and seventy eight billion dollars? I'll tell you who does. Apple. <laughs> Because while Disney is worth $178 billion, isn't that adorable, says Apple. <laughs> They're worth $2.3 trillion. What? Yeah. Apple, everybody just soak in that for a second. Apple is worth $2.3 tr 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 trillion. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> <laughs> Sound the Alan Horn. <laughs> So, you are literally talking about a company that is worth, what, 15x? Yeah. They could literally buy and sell Disney 15 times over. For, for, the, for Tim and company, that would be a, eh, like an executive lunch. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, cut the check. It's really not that big. Because remember, 
Disney, what, what was Disney's market cap? I think Disney's market cap was somewhere in the neighborhood of a hundred and no, their no, their market cap was around the ninety billion dollar mark when they bought Fox. And so, and they were not worth ten times what Fox was worth at the time. So, financially speaking, this is something that could happen uh, without too much terrible trouble. And you know, Apple has been showing again. I'm only, I'm just sitting here right now making the case that if you want to believe this story, I'll make the case for you. So it could be something that the board is looking at. Uh, Apple is worth more than like probably about 15 times what Disney's worth. They could easily buy them without breaking mm -hmm. a sweat. Apple has shown in the last number of years, they are very keen of, in expanding into the entertainment vertical. They launched Apple TV Plus. They're now producing movies with Martin Scorsese. I mean, they, they have shown they're very active in this thing. Also, if you want me to make another argument for you, if you want to believe this, Apple and Disney have a very long history and a lot of connective tissue between the two companies. A lot of connective tissue between the two companies. But we talk about Bob Iger. You're talking about a major shareholder. I think he is the most significant individual shareholder of Disney. He's also a very significant shareholder of Apple. He's the ultimate deal maker. And if you did want to sell Disney to Apple, he's the guy to do it. I don't think there's any dispute about that. He's the guy to do it. First, you got to get the ship in order, raise the value as much as you can, blah, 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 blah all that kind of stuff. I'll tell you right now, I don't know that I believe this story. Um, I could see Apple being interested in buying Disney. I, I could see there being interest there again, because of their desire to get into the entertainment vertical. Um, but Disney is Disney's Disney. I, I mean, so while I, there's enough stuff here that would make me go, okay, I, I could see that happen. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, I, I don't think that's what's happening here. Although, I mean, it could be very plausible. Chris, you see this. The concept of Disney being bought, mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's an odd one. When you look at it, what are the arguments for it, against it, and then ultimately, do you think this is actually real? I mean, the, the biggest argument for it is just the numbers that we just went through. It would make sense. It would make great financial sense, especially because we're seeing that little tick in the stock at Disney increasing right now. So it is something a little more more desirable than it has been, right? It's got all that great IP. They own everything else. And Apple can't afford it. And they definitely want to be one of the big wigs in streaming. And they have been. Their content has been amazing lately. The thing going against it is I'm trying to figure out a world where the House of Mouse does not own itself. You know, I was a Disney intern and no matter what job you have at Disney, you all go through the exact same training. It is a culture. It is a, a very much like from the ground up, we all are the same kind of um, workforce here. And I'm wondering how shareholders and board members would feel aside from the financial gain of maybe losing that part of their company's identity. I feel like they really like being in control of themselves. But I mean, at the end of the day, cash usually wins. I mean, and the other thing too is uh, the one question I have as well is does, while well, I see Apple wanting to get into the entertainment vertical more mm -hmm. and get more invested there, they, they clearly have a future there. Yeah. Do they want to be in the theme parks business? Do they want to be in that business there? But plus Rob, you know, at the end of the day, the ultimate responsibility of the board is their shareholders. And if they can make their shareholders a lot of money, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, DraftKings. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, should be your go-to when betting on the NFL this holiday season. With things like same-game parlays, easy and fast payouts, player props, and more. Right now, new customers can bet just $5 on any NFL team to win their game and get $150 in free bets if they do. And check this out. Right now, everyone can earn up to a 100% boost with DraftKings Stepped Up Same Game Parlays. Just go to the DraftKings Sportsbook app, place a same game parlay, and combine multiple bets like which team will win, player props, total points, and more. The more legs you add, the bigger the boost, the bigger your shot to win big. Personally, I like the Rams to pull off a big upset win over the Chiefs next weekend. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use the code CAMPIA. Place a $5 bet on any NFL team to win their game and get $150 in free bets if they do. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with the code CAMPIA. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. You hear this. What are the points in this whole thing that are standing out to you the most? Well, one, I don't think this would ever happen. 
I don't think it benefits Apple at all. Because if they want to get into the entertainment vertical, they can do whatever they want. They already have more money than, I mean, why would a technology company that's worth, what is the market cap, over $2 trillion? Yeah, I think it's around 2.3 trillion The only trillion thing right that now. the acquisition of Disney would make, the only thing that would bring Apple is a big pain in the ass. Do they want to run cruise ships? You know, and maybe they'll fill the cruise ships with Apple software. Wouldn't they make more <laughs> money selling Apple equipment, Apple software to Disney already? Mm -hmm. I, I don't see that this makes any sense at all for Apple as a company because a lot of what Disney does is so far removed from what Apple does. Yeah, as far uh, we as all forget Disney is more than just that entertainment vertical. Yeah, I mean, you've the got, parks, there's the a, and, and apparel, you know. Merchandising. Merchandising. And Apple's like, uh, we can, we can buy it here. Here's a new iPhone. We just made more money than you made in 10 years. You know, I mean, or more profit. And, and there's, I think that there's no advantage at all for Apple to buy Disney other than the fact that they could say it gives a whole, there is so much with Apple. They're like manufacturing technology. That's all they do. And I think the reason that they have, uh, stuff on their streamings that they're making entertainment is because that's just an extra added bonus for the stuff. Watch our content on our phones, on our computers, on our monitors, whatever. They're just, and it's fun for them. They can make movies and they can spend enough money that they can hire the best people. Oh, we're going to make a movie, but we're going to get Martin Scorsese to make a movie. And we're going to spend $200 million on it. And you know what? No one cares because we can make that in an afternoon if they need to or whatever. So there's no reason for them to buy Disney. I don't see any upside at all unless they have a long-term strategy that I'm unaware of or that we're all unaware of that makes it I, I just think it's a it's a whole it's a business that is not theirs the one argue because I agree with you I don't think this is going to happen I mm -hmm. agree but let me play devil's advocate for a second Apple's history is a history of identifying something they want to be in and buying out somebody else who's already sure. doing it yeah that is the Apple way I mean, of course, they innovate, they do a lot of stuff, but if you go through their history, there's a lot of their technology that says, you know, we want to do that, so we're going to buy these guys who are doing it now. And so that's the one thing I would say that if they are really want to get seriously into the entertainment vertical, and they've made some great strides themselves, but they lag far behind, you know, a lot of the other major players right now, buying Disney becomes kind of a no-brainer for that if they were dead serious about wanting to get, get elevated in the entertainment vertical. It could also be, depending on the culture of it, you have a Tim Cook who's like, man, if I was the man to bring Disney into the Apple family, that's my legacy right there. But again, I don't think it's going to happen. I, I'm just trying to play devil. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I just don't see what the advantage to Apple it would be. I mean, if they wanted to have a cruise line, they'd build the Apple cruise and they'd <laughs> but, build but, the ships but why from scratch. Build, why do that? Why do that? It's the same reason why they buy a lot of other smaller technology companies. Why do that when that's been done and we can just acquire it? I, I mean, there is an argument to be made for it. And again, but, I'm saying this is somebody who yeah, agrees yeah. with you. But the smaller technology is something they buy and they can integrate into their own product. Mm -hmm. Whereas yep. I don't see where is a, a choir, acquiring Disney, other than the fact they can say they own it. It's way, of, it's, it's way a field of their core business. Again, it all depends on an x factor we don't know right how exactly. serious are they about wanting to dominate the entertainment i mean vertical? but they have so much money yep that they can do whatever they want already in the entertainment vertical if that was their desire but they would still want to do it the most financially expeditious and most financially uh, efficient way i think if apple was going to buy anybody they'd buy paramount or buy sony or buy somebody that because well, why would you buy them when you can buy the better company because disney's got too much stuff that they don't need i mean that's true that's the big that was the big question for me right it's like do they want to be in merchandising no. do they want to be in cruise lines do they want to be in theme parks do they want i mean i i do they want to be in espn do they want I, and that's the reason i just don't think this is so i happen. just think they could, yeah that's true I, I but i just think they'd create it i mean the thing about apple is they create their own stuff i mean their own operating systems everything and that's both for technologists that's both there's a lot of pros and cons in that I just can't see them buying Disney. Again, it all depends what's going on behind the door. But then again, Bob Iger could probably make them believe that they need Disney. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, Bob Iger could sell, you know, what are they called in uh, on Pandora, Navi? Mm -hmm. He could sell them bottled water. Bob <laughs> Iger could sell the Navi bottled water. I mean, that's just what he could do. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Bath water. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about 
these reports going around that apparently the board would like Bob Iger to sell the company to Apple. I don't personally buy it, but I could see why somebody would believe it. And maybe it does. I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Whatever those thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and leave those thoughts there.